don't stop. Hey, hey, family, welcome back to the channel. Happy New Year. Welcome to 2019, people. We made it through a whole year. And we made it through that whole year by the grace of God. Nothing else was in our own power. It wasn't the alarm clock. It wasn't mind over matter. It was nothing but the grace of God that got us through all our bumps and obstacles and got us through all of our fears and our sorrows and anything that you went through. He got us through it and he got us through it healthy where we can smile, we can walk, we can talk, we can hear, we can touch. And that is what we have to remember when we go and and take embark on everything that 2019 has to offer each and every one of us. So as you can see, I'm sitting up here folding clothes and I did not want uh, this January 1st, okay, to go by without me coming in here and wishing my fancy beauties and bows a very, very, very happy, blessed, and awesome new year. God has great plans for all of us. And all it is, is a matter of, it's just a matter of us listening to him and being obedient and waiting, being patient, standing steadfast in his word. And anything that your heart desires, he can grant it for you as long as you are obedient to him and to him only. So, I was planning on coming in here. I was going to do a last video for 2018, but life happened. I mean, life has been moving super duper fast and your girl ain't been able to catch up. Like this, this laundry stuff was supposed to be done in 2018, but it's okay. Cause God's gonna work it out. So I hope everyone was, had a wonderful holiday. I hope everything that your heart longed for was granted and that you were able to spend quality time with your family members and your friends and that you were able to just love on each other because let me tell you some people don't have that blessing they don't have that family they don't have friends they don't have even a home to stay in food to eat so we have to count our blessings and we have to recognize that yes we have problems yes we have hurdles that we have to cross over yes we have family members and friends that pass on and that tears our hearts apart yes we lose jobs. All of these things. But it's always somebody else that's worse off than you. So remember that when you are going through things. Remember to just hold on to God's unchanging hand. Because he does things 
for a reason. And I know, you know, everybody says that. Everybody, you know, blah, 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 blah. But it's the honest to God truth. It's, it's absolutely the truth. It hurts. Yes, it hurts to the soul when you lose someone that you love. Family members, pets. It hurts. You know, you lose your job and you're trying to figure out okay, I got all these bills, I got these kids, I got a car note, I got this, I got that. But guess what? That door closed. But he may have another one that's open over across the street for you. And you have to just be willing to open your eyes and open up your options to be able to receive that blessing that he has for you over there. Even if it's a pay cut. You never know. You get in that company, you work your butt off, they see how good of a worker you are, you may get a promotion. You may get a raise in six months. You don't know, because that's how wonderful God is. There's a lot of things that's going on in the world right now that society says is okay. That says that we should accept how someone lives, how some what someone believes in. What you need? A winner for me. Including Christianity. That seems to be the number one problem that the world is going through right now. Is is Christian folk around here bullying people, not all of them, around here bullying people, trying to get folk to live and believe as they do. That's not our place. Our place is not to judge. Our place is to let someone know what the right way is and then leave it alone. Leave the people alone. And 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 it's all coming from you know our homosexual brothers and sisters. Yes, I said brothers and sisters because they are still creations of God. They're still people. Regardless to what you think who are we supposed to testify to? You can't turn your back. You can't turn your back on, you know, because you feel a certain kind of way according to what the Bible says. You live the right way. And you talk to them and you, you explain to them what is of God's will and what is not. But you can't force it down someone's throat. You have to let that person come to God on their own terms. As long as they breathe breath, it's not too late for them to come to God. You can't twist nobody's arm. Just like, you know, when it comes to homosexuality, and transgender and all these other things, they can't force us to be accepting and take on what they want. People that's religious, they got they got a right to say no, that's not God's will. You have a right to that. Everyone has a right to believe in what they believe in. 
Everyone has a right to live the way they want to live. The only person that has a right to judge is God himself. Nobody down here has the right to judge anybody. Nobody. So I want us to go into 2019 with open arms, with an open mind, and with an open Bible to do what you need to do to, if that person is coming to you with questions and they've seen that they're lost. Doesn't matter if they, you know, transgender, if they're fornicators, if they're adulterers, if they're liars, if they're thieves, whatever the case may be. You were one something. Maybe you were a prostitute. Maybe you were a pimp. Maybe you were a stripper. Whatever it is that you were, you had to figure out and you made a decision to say, you know what? I don't want to live like this no more. I want to better myself. I want to make sure that I'm going to end up in the kingdom of heaven and then you sought out and you talked to people you went to your pastor your priest your buddha your whatever and you cleansed your body your mind your spirit and you became a follower of god or whatever your higher being is. And you change your life. Don't forget that. Don't forget where you came from and how you got there. So, I just wanted to, to come on and Show my face, first of all. Say Happy New Year, second of all, right? And to just encourage you in whichever way that I can to be able to go through this 2019. You got 365 days. to make any changes, to set any goals that you have. Your goal may be to come, become closer to God. That's one of my goals, number one. You may have a goal to open your business. You may have a goal to not be have to, have to work for anyone, to retire. And you want to do that with a secure financial future. You may want to send your kids off to college. You may want to buy a new car. You may want to buy a new house. Whatever it is, remember, none of those things are going to be possible unless you have God in your forefront. You can get it, but how long you gonna have it? And he gives us things for a reason. Whether it be to, to show you a lesson, maybe it's to be a light to someone else that may be looking to see, okay, well this is what they, these are the rewards that they got for being in the light of God. Okay? Maybe you ain't in the light of God and you're still getting all these things. I remember, I and I still do it sometimes. Nobody's perfect. I will, you know, here I am trying to live the right life, trying to do things the right way, and I'm getting nowhere. 
but you can't look at it like that because he's getting you ready for your awesome blessing. And I had to look at it like that. I said, Gina, this is not your light. That's daylight. You gotta let them shine. You gotta get this stuff over here ready. And then, once you're ready, according to God, then you will get your reward. You can't put the cart in front of the horse and think you're gonna be able to drive it right. Ain't gonna drive right. So, learn to be patient and wait and be still and wait on God and see how wonderful He works in your life. Don't be in a hurry. Haste makes waste. So just slow down. Slow down. See what it is that you need to change within yourself. Change that and keep it that way. Sometimes we make changes and then we fall back into the old habits what we had. No, you have to keep in that same new person that you're trying to develop. Keep in that same walk. Keep in that same positive mind. Keep in that same goal-oriented focus that you got. Don't fall back. Don't get comfortable and complacent and then just be like, okay, I don't want to do this no more. No. You have to keep moving. Keep striving. Keep pushing. Do it all. And don't give up. 2019 is going to be a magnificent year for somebody out there. For maybe all of you. All of us. That's what I'm putting out there in the universe. That's what I'm speaking to God. That's what I'm claiming in the name of Jesus. That all of us in 2019 will see the wonderful magnitude in which God can do in our lives. So with that being said, thank you so much for being here with me through this channel and supporting me and welcoming AJ and to the family and everything. Just everything. You guys don't know so many times I'm just like, you know what? I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not doing YouTube anymore. But it's something that keeps me coming back. Yes, I love it. Yes, I like being on camera. All of those things. But there's something deeper. There's something bigger. There's something. And I got to keep going until I get there. And you guys make that possible. When you comment and you like the video and you share the video. All my new subscribers, thank you so much for being a part of this family. Thank you so much for choosing me to be a part of your life. Because you don't have to watch my videos. You could be like, oh, she, she ain't really doing too much over there. But you never know how God is going to use me for you. And that's why I keep coming back. I keep coming back for you all. A lot of you guys came to me from my hysterectomy videos. Hey, baby girls. Some of you guys came to me from a makeup look that I did or a review that I did. Whatever the case may be, I'm so glad that God allowed you to fall into me. I thank you for choosing me. And we're going to rock out. 2019 we gonna do it together we gonna do it in style we gonna be fancy and we gonna just be a positive beam of light for anybody that comes in our path 
And I'm going to leave you with this. If you have the power to make someone happy, do that. Because the world needs more of it. Stay fancy. Stay focused. Stay prayerful. Stay positive. And most of all, stay true to yourself and stay true to God. I love you guys. Happy New Year.